Former White House chef John Mueller shared an interactive dinner with over 100 guests at the Biltmore Hotel as part of his promotional tour for the book Dining at the White House from the President's Table to Yours, which features an amazing compilation of experiences, recipes, memorabilia, and exclusive photographs that he collected over 13 years of working as a White House chef. Our cooking at the White House had two aspects to it. We had the day-to-day -day eating for the family and then also the official menus. The official menus would, uh, com would be comprised of all the official functions that happened at the White House and then also the, uh, the daily menus. So when the President and First Lady would have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, then we'd have separate menus from there. There they ate very, very healthy. We were, we, they were very mindful about how much uh, calories they were consuming and ate very, very lightly on their own. <laughs> the guests that attended the event at the Biltmore Hotel prepared dinner White House style, guided by the very John Muller himself. It was a close and personal night with the chef, whom not only instructed them on fancy culinary techniques, but also shared memories and stories about the three presidential families that he served at the White House. And one thing that they all seem to like, I have a pretty good recipe for a chicken enchilada. They, they all like that. They like kind of comforting foods like that. And a well-made enchilada tastes great, you know. Also, I, I brought from my hometown of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We do a chicken pot pie, but we make it more like a stew, and we make a dumpling, and we cook it into the stew. And both uh, President Clinton and President Bush really gave me a big thumbs up and said, I really like this kind of food, John. <laughs> do they crave, in the middle of the night, do they call you and tell you, John, fix me something I'm craving for a dessert? Well, uh, after we serve dinner at night, usually it's like a three-course meal. We usually start with like a soup or salad, an entree, and then a dessert or fresh fruit. And after that, they're usually in pretty good shape. They're not hungry again. We do on the second floor of the kitchen of uh, the White House. There's a kitchen there that's private for the family. And we'll keep some leftovers in there. We keep some snack foods, some pretzels, some, some just little, little knick-knack stuff from the eat. And if they so find themselves to be hungry, they could find a little something to eat while they're up there. I've never gotten called at 2 o'clock in the morning to say, come down and make me a BLT, you know? <laughs> 13 years of work for three presidential families at the White House left so many memories in the mind of Mueller that he could only put them in a book to remember them all for all times. From the description of preparations for inaugural events and state dinners, China selection, trips to Camp David, and even cooking lessons for young Chelsea Clinton, they are all part of the anecdotes that Mueller shares in detail in his new book. When I had the first opportunity to meet the President First Lady, I was kind of freaking out a little bit. And he just came out, shook your hand, and welcomed you. And, I, and it was extraordinary. I was like, well, wow, he's just a regular guy, you know? <laughs> John Mueller will be in Cora Gable's Books and Books, signing copies on February 8th. Reporting for What's Happening in Cora Gables, Diana Herrera.